Okay, hello buddy, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be playing some Would You Rather. Now, I played the Would You Rather on Roblox a while ago before I broke my headset. And now I want to play uh, the actual Would You Rather. In my opinion, the actual Would You Rather is, pretty, is actually better than uh, the Roblox Would You Rather, but it's Roblox, so you know. Alright. Uh, I already have answered that question, apparently. Would you rather know when you will die, know how you will die? Uh, how I would die, because then I could try to avoid that, but is this, like, anonymous? Like, am I- Is it, is it like a, um, Christmas Kale, Ghost of Christmas Future, where I can change it? Or is this set in time, and this is 100% how I will die, and I have nothing to do about it? I'm going to say... it. I can change it, so if I know how I will die, I can avoid the scenario that how I will die, and then I can die from something else when I'm 80. Sure, why not? 57, okay. That's good, I'm in the majority there. Would you rather produce a low-budget film with your best friends and have the time of your life, produce a Hollywood blockbuster, and make a ton of money? Uh, probably a low-budget film with your best friends, um, because, like, I don't need money, like, I don't need to be that famous, so, yeah. Uh, friends, seriously? 53%, 660,000. Point four people would want to be with people that they hate for their job and make money. I mean, I, I guess I can't blame them, but... Would you rather eat fast food burgers every night or eat Chinese takeout every night? Fast food burgers because I don't like Chinese, so there we go, I'd rather eat something I would like. Yeah, Chinese is pretty popular, I guess, okay. Would you rather talk a little bit too loudly, talk a, s a little bit too soft? Um, talk a little bit too loudly, that way more people can hear me? Mm, let's think, let's think. If I talk a little bit too loudly, people might be able to hear stuff that I don't want them hearing. And if I talk a bit too softly, then people might get annoyed at me, but I'd be safer. I think I'm gonna go with a bit too softly for this one. Yeah, there we go. I'm on the majority, that's good. Live without your phone, live without your computer, iPod, and clean clothes. I'd rather live without my phone. Yeah, because computer is my life. Have an iPhone, have an Android device. Android because they are 100 times better, even though they don't look as good. Apple just brings, like, a few year old technology with a better looking thing. Be punched in the face by Knuckles by Mike Tyson. Punch a toddler and be seen by thousands of people. Uh, I think I've seen this one before in, like, a Markiplier's video or something. Um... Be punched in the face with brass knuckles like Mike Tyson. Actually, who is Mike Tyson? I wanna know I, I wanna know what I'm up against here. Oh Okay, so he's pretty buff. He's a professional wrestler, as it would seem. Maybe he's retired or something. Okay, did I already choose? Yep, I already chose. That's great. Okay. Okay, eat a Big Mac every six hours. Eat an exquisite meal ev once every four days. Exquisite meal every four days? Like, that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Like, I don't have an ex exquisite meal, like, ever, so. That's good. Save two packs life. Save G see Jesus for two hours. Hmm. You see, I never heard of two pack until he died. And I'm not hugely religious. I'm going to say save two packs life. 
because I'm pretty sure he died in a car accident. And Jesus. Like, I know if I saw Jesus, I could probably learn a bunch of secrets to everything. Uh, like hack codes for computer games and stuff. But. I mean, you're saving Tupac's life. You're saving someone's life. Let's put it in an ominous way. So, let's take out Tupac here. Save a life. Or see a god for two hours. I mean, saving someone's life definitely seems better in that scenario. So... I'm gonna save Tupac's life. Yeah, they were both very good options. Okay, look at Aperture Science, look at Black Missa. I have no idea what any of these are. Okay, so Aperture Science is the uh, company, fictional company, I guess, in Portal, which is pretty cool. I played Portal a while ago, but still pretty cool. One of my favorite games. Uh, Black Mesa, I still don't know. And Black Mesa is from Half-Life. I've never played Half-Life, but I do love Portal. So I'm gonna say Aperture Science. There we go, that's good. Have hair covering your entire body or be completely bald. Uh, I'm going to say be completely bald. bald. Like, bald, you can, people can pull off. Like, I know some people who are bald don't want to be bald, and please don't take offense if you are bald, um, but so, for some people, bald can be their hairstyle, um, and like, they're known for being bald, but if you have hair covering your entire body, you'll just look like the lot. Not the Loch Ness Monster, like Bigfoot or something. So, and being completely bald isn't that bad. Some people let, prefer to be bald, so... Who knows? Always disappoint people, always anger people. Oh no! Why can't they just be me? And be... They, uh, not really do anything. That way, you don't anger people, but you don't make them happy. Or disappointed. That's my life. Ugh. Ah, why? I'm going to say. Ugh. I'd rather always anger people because it doesn't say anger everyone. It just says people. So people could be two people or three people. It doesn't have to be the entire thing. Again, it says always disappoint people. But if you you anger people, some people could be on your side, like if you anger someone about, let's say you're a football player and you ain't, you're, and some people are angry of you for making that touchdown and winning the game or something. I, I don't follow football, I, this is the very, the very little knowledge I know about football, but, oh, I'm talking about American football here, sorry. Um, and... You can anger people, but then on the other side of the stadium, you can also make people excited because you just won the game for their team. But if you disappoint people, then you can kind of pretty much disappoint everyone. So, anger people is the better of two evils in this scenario. Never read another book, never hear another song, never read another book. There we go. Yeah, people who are playing an online game probably not really have an interest in reading, but more about media and songs and music and computers and all of that, like me. So, there we go. For three minutes, would you rather play with a dog, with dog do, like Play-Doh, oh, jeez, sit in someone else's warm urine, why? This is not pleasant. I find this disturbing. <laughs> the ti- hold on. The title of this one is You've Ruined Recess. 
Why is this at recess? For how long do I have to play with dog do or sit in someone else's warm urine? Like if I have to sit in it for an hour, well, I guess most recess is about 30, 15 minutes, so play, and if we're doing this for the entire recess. At least I wouldn't be bored with playing with dog do like Play-Doh. I'd be kind of bored just sitting in someone else's warm urine as well as disgusted. And here on playing with dog do, I'd just be disgusted. And not bored, probably. Yeah. They're, they're both pretty bad. Live in ancient Greece, live in ancient Rome. Now, here is where my knowledge of Percy Jackson comes in. I am a huge Percy Jackson fan. Also, not it. Like, I hate Harry Potter. Don't ask me why. Um, but Ancient Greece just seems much more my style. In the second book, anyway, uh, might be getting into a bit of spoiler territory for Heroes of uh, Olympus. But in uh, Camp Half-Blood, the Greek camp, uh, if if you don't uh, follow Percy Jackson, then just if you don't, haven't read the books or anything, you won't know what the next probably ten minutes of this video will be. But in ancient Greek Greece, Half Blood, Cape Half Blood, it seems much less ordered than ancient Rome, and I guess that's then uh, the Roman camp, Camp Jupiter, um, and I guess that's just the way. Rome and Greece were different from each other when it was actually ancient Greece and ancient Rome. But I think I like Greece better, and because ancient Rome it has like all these ranks and order and leaders and stuff. I just don't like that. I like ancient Greece. Although I love everyone in the Heroes of Olympus series besides Gaia. I'm going into fan fiction here. Okay. There we go. Live in ancient Greece. Meet, Pew meet PewDiePie. Meet Banos. Now, I don't really watch either of these two on a daily basis. I say I watch more PewDiePie than Banos. I even subscribe to Banos. I've never watched one of his videos. I should probably unsubscribe. Ugh, oh, gee, it's voice crack. That was a huge voice crack. Unsubscribe. PewDiePie, I guess. I don't really watch his videos either on a daily basis. I prefer Jacksepticeye or Mark. Uh, but PewDiePie, yeah, he has the most subscribers. So. Although, I was checking on Social Blade today. Okay, so you see, this is PewDiePie's Social Blade. It says subscriber rank 4th. I last time I checked, 51 million subscribers was more than anyone else has ever gotten on YouTube. And even he said it in one of his latest videos. No one's even close to 51 thou million subscribers. Um, his video. Also, he's Social Blade rank fourth. I'm not sure how much this makes sense. Also, he earns 15.1 million yearly earnings. That is insane. YouTube money can get you far, but uh, let's let's check on Google. Who has the most subscribers on YouTube? Hashtag sports. What? When did this happen? What? Hold on, I, I have to go to YouTube for this. Hold on. What was it? It was hashtag sports. I have to see if this is real. Like, I could have sworn PewDiePie was the number one subscribe channel. I think this is it. Yeah, it has 75 million? What? When did this happen? What? What? So, hashtag sports has 75 million. Then is PewDiePie like the number one gaming channel or something? That that doesn't make any sense. Like, I could have sworn. Like, for the longest time, PewDiePie was the number one subscribed YouTube channel in existence. But no, nope, apparently it's sports. I mean, I guess YouTube did create it. Auto generated by YouTube. And people do love their sports. 
<laughs> I don't know, I'm getting off topic here. I learn something new every day. So, uh, where were we? Okay, have a Pepsi or have a Coke. I don't like any, like, I guess soft drinks. I only like water and maybe milk. Um, like, I don't like the combination. I don't think I've ever, when, when, when I've had a Coke or a Pepsi, it's, I'm pretty sure every single time it's been an accident when I thought I was drinking water or something or whatever. And so I don't think I've ever gone to the actual, actual beverage. It's always been the combination that like burns my tongue and I don't want to drink it. I honestly don't know, so I'm just gonna do e You, uh, it, I'm closing my eyes. Have a Pepsi, okay. Alright, sure, I have no idea what the differences are between them, but, uh, would you rather be stabbed in the stomach ten times or be shot in both kneecaps? If you were shot in both kneecaps, it would probably be almost impossible to walk, if, if not impossible. Or be stabbed in the stomach ten times. That would just leave you with, like, a bunch of blood, and you hurting and screeching in pain. And if you shine both kneecaps, that would leave a lot of blood, and leave you squashing in pain. But, with the stomach stabbing, you can probably walk, you would not have much strength, but there's a better chance you would be able to walk, so I'm gonna say stomach, although I wouldn't really- I- I like- my kneecaps and my stomach, so I'd rather not something be shot at them. Thank you. Have a pop, so let's see. Oh, jeez. Reveal you a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column. Mm. This would get very annoying very fast. Like, will this mean a pop Nazi will, like, follow me into my house and literally everywhere I go, will he, like, if I get on a plane and go to Russia, will he, like, be on the plane right behind me? If so, is, is it like that? Is it like the, um, very slow murder with the inefficient weapon on YouTube, link in the description? Is it like that where he's just chasing you for eternity playing pop so I'd say uh, music so bad that I can actually kill you well known fact and you can't kill him so this is just like the slowest death ever then I'd rather reveal a different secret about yourself in a weekly newspaper column so I'm gonna choose that all right 40 60 all right not bad I think this is gonna be the last one and then I'll end the video off here would you rather wake, walk 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., walk 9 p.m. to 5 a.m.? Uh, day shift, please. Thank you. I don't want to be a fazzy, Fredbear Fazzle. What am I saying? Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria Walker. There we go. That was a mouthful. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to play this game for yourself, the link will be in the description below. I had a blast playing it, hope you had a blast watching it, uh, again, a bunch of links in the description, go watch them, uh, but yeah, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video, bye-bye.